So then we're taking a look at uh, Myriad News Capture, and we've uh, just loaded up for the first time. It's asking us whether or not we would like a database created for us, which is uh, rather handy. So that's going to help us do that. And then that loads us up into the main Myriad News Capture window. And it's here that we set our sources and also our captures from RSS and also from Twitter as well. So uh, we've got the file menu here, add in sources, statistics, some housekeeping, chance to manually pull, and then the main settings window, which is where most of the stuff is, and then the usual help menu as well. So we're going to go into settings here and we're going to add a config file. Now these config files you can get hold of from P squared and they will also help you in creating them as well because uh, they are slightly geeky. So uh, let's go over to the any files is what is used to set up the settings that you need. And down at the bottom here tells you where the audio is going to be uh, imported from the start and to the end. And Myriad News will help to look after those as they uh, import in. That uh, sound card there, that's for setting if you want to use some level triggered recordings. So that's where you'd set your settings in there. We'll take a closer look at that a little later on. Some other settings in the menu here. We've got the program settings so you can allow um, news capture to send you an email uh, when it's been successful and uh, if it has any problems as well. So you set in there the destination and the send in email address and uh, also when they will be sent. So we're going to, uh, you can add uh, multiple sources. And so, as you can see, we've now got two sources that we could choose from. And so we could have uh, two any files, one check in IRN, for example, and uh, one check in for email. And then here you get the option to remove one of those sources. So we're just going to uh, remove source two. We go back to the window just looking. It's a uh, usual size. Into the news database settings here, we can set uh, various things, including uh, the ability to highlight stories which contain certain keywords. Also, there's some email settings. That's the web settings that we'll look at as part of the distribution uh, video. So we can uh, create RSS feeds and also some HTML pages and uh, documents for our website. Bulletins, destinations, something that's coming in a little bit later on in uh, future versions, and also the ability there to uh, for Myriad News to uh, send out some emails. We always get that little warning there if we've changed anything. It uh, warns us to uh, update the other clients. And so here, this is where we set our Twitter and RSS feeds, so whichever ones we want to monitor. Whenever When we first load it and uh, you close it down, it will prompt you to install this uh, .NET framework, which you need in order for it to collect the tweets. So uh, it takes you to the web page. So just follow the instructions. After a while, the page will come up uh, asking you to download it. So we've uh, just downloaded it here. This is it uh, installing for us and then we're done. And then that will allow us to use the Twitter and uh, the, um, yeah, be able to pull in the Twitter feeds. We can close all of that down. So uh, that is set up now. So uh, next time it should allow us to uh, set those. Okay. So we go back to Twitter and RSS. And so you have Twitter on the top, RSS at the bottom. So if you are wanting to set some RSS feeds, go to a web page, for example, see the RSS button up the top here. We're just going to uh, copy the location, minimize that back down, paste that in, take off that uh, leading HTTP and just uh, leave that. So it's just saying feeds. We can select which category and field to go in. We've already created one here called BBC News. So we're just going to say that we want it into there. We can create new subcategories if we want, and then we'll click on OK. And uh, that will stick it in there. So we can see now that we're starting to get RSS feeds. Let's uh, go to a uh, local site for me. This is the BBC um, in Essex feed. So I'm going to take the RSS from that one as well, just to uh, stay ahead of things. So let's get rid of that. And I'm going to create a new category. I'm going to call this one Essex. And are we OK to that? And we're going to click on OK. And so now I've got two RSS feeds coming in. And now let's set up a Twitter one. 
And uh, so again, back to a uh, website to uh, find a Twitter username, or you may know them off by heart. Here's a BBC webpage, and uh, there's uh, Rory Kethlin Jones, and he is uh, twitter.com slash BBC Rory CJ. So we go in there and we type in BBC Rory CJ. And again, we can set a category. So we're just going to have to say Twitter. And we're going to say BBC Rory CJ so that we know the source is OK. And then we've added that in there. First time that you enter an, a Twitter feed in, you need to authorize Twitter to be able to access them. So we're going to use our Twitter account, which is Hot FM News. Authorize. And then you get this code and you just type it in at the top here. So as long as you follow those instructions and click on OK, it will uh, authenticate back with Twitter. And then you're running this new P squared Twitter capture little application, which comes up as part of Myriad News Capture when that loads up. And so that enables us to uh, do that. So we've seen how we can set up Myriad News Capture to capture uh, the IRN feeds, RSS and tweets. The RSS and the tweets are still coming in down here at the bottom. And so now I'm going to show you how to set up email. So uh, News Capture can import in text and audio sent into your radio station and into your newsroom uh, via an email address. And so P Squared will help you with the INI file to put those details in. And uh, I've selected it here as part of the config file. So I've pulled in the email 4.ini file that uh, P Squared have pre-configured with my email address for me. And uh, so that's all set up and ready to go. And as you can see, I've captured a couple of email address emails already. What we're going to do then is we're going to uh, send off a new email and we've got our address here, news report. So we're going to set the subject, which is going to end up being the story title. So here we are, the sport and uh, Melbourne, Melbourne athletic teaser. And uh, we can add in some text here. And so we've done some text and I'm going to attach some audio to the bottom of it. Here's my audio. And uh, I've uh, recorded it here in MP2 format. So it's just going to uh, attach it to the email and then I shall send that off. So this uh, email address, you may want to make it quite a, a cryptic message. And then that way you're not going to get uh, ones by mistake. So we'll just uh, send that one off. That's gone off. And uh, then if we uh, stay on capture, We'll see in a minute. It checks the email every 60 seconds. We've got it set up to be. So it should uh, check the email, bring the email in, and also the audio and stick it onto our audio wall for us automatically as well. So um, let's just wait for that to pop in. And there you go. You saw the audio come in there. Email sports, Melbourne Athletic teaser. And uh, the audio, it's uh, pulled it into the local stories category. And uh, so if we go into Myriad News itself, we can see right at the top here, double click on it. And uh, it's given us a warning there because it normally captures all of the IRN clips within, uh, within that cart number. So it's asking whether or not we want to move it. And we'll say, yes, that's fine. And so it's now moved it. And you can see my email becomes the story title. And then the body of the email there is the actual story itself. And then the audio is attached here. We can have a little listen to it. We've come under a lot of, a lot of pressure, I think. So there's our audio attached and normalized and everything's fine on that. So that is how we would capture from email. Now in Myriad News here, uh, we are loading Myriad News up for the first time and it's saying I've found a database which News Capture has already created for us. We're going to say yes please use that one and it gives us a little warning here saying whether or not we would like to move our personal edit range and uh, sort of trim that down. And you can uh, either decide yes no or cancel. So I think we're going to go with a yes for this to uh, help us out. And so now that's set so we click on OK. We can always go back and change it later on in the customize menu option. And so we've done that. And uh, this is the main window of Myriad News, which we'll go into in uh, future videos.